What up? You already know what the fuck going on. It's Rogue Gang and Real Tune TV. Hey, Real Tune, it's a real money in the room. All right, man. Today on Real Tune TV, we have a special guest in the building. Very special guest in the building, man. You already know what the fuck going on to the ride in the building. Ben Rouge is very on, man. Yeah, we chilling. We doing a little something. Yeah, man. I, um... Uh, well, bef before we even get started, bro, before we even get started, like, tell us what's new in your life. I got a lot of new shit going on. Just dropped a motherfucking album probably like two, three months ago. Been dropping videos every week. Just dropped the video, Trench Baby 2. I'm finna drop another video next week called Sipping. I just got a lot of new shit coming for real okay right um man you know i i hate to go here but you know what i'm saying it's only because it's, it's been on the internet you know what <laughs> i can tell you for the same stuff but <laughs> no well i mean you know we all saw boosie kind of going back and forth you know what i'm saying with one of your sisters you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. um, I, I believe it was toriana you know what i'm saying um which you talk to every week you know, I'm just saying what you said. Yeah. I'm just, I was trying to start that shit. No yeah, man. Big raw. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, when, when you saw that and it hit the internet, like, what was your thoughts? I don't respect it. I don't respect it. I feel like they shouldn't have put that shit in everybody in the business and shit. Like, they ain't have to put everybody in the business. Right. Like, Could have been handled. Off the internet. Right, 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 right. Why, why do you feel like it escalated so far on the internet? Because it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was like we saw it and then it was like it just continued. You know what I'm saying? And if you wise enough to be like, oh, sh that shouldn't go on. If Tootie Ross say it shouldn't go shit, on. I try to tell him that shit. Tell him. I can't tell people shut their mouth and not say shit. Right. It ain't me saying shit. Right. Can't stop her from saying that. Can't stop my dad. I like so. You you be feeling like you in the middle, kinda. Nah, I just feel like I ain't got nothing to do with it. Right. I still, I love them both. I ain't just, I just ain't in that shit what y'all got going on. Right, 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 right. Um, on on the same token, it's like man, like, like I don't know. Maybe it's just you. Uh, but it's like y'all's family drama just always find its way like to the internet and it's like the internet takes it runs with it you know what i'm saying even to the point to where um but the you? internet just gonna make bro that what it is every time they just gonna blow shit up well i saw uh <laughs> it's gonna blow shit up. I, I saw uh a tq you know what i'm saying doing his media run um which is, I believe, your uncle. And um, he was like, I don't know. He was like, you know, boo hopped out on the car with a bat on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this like regular? You know, you don't have to answer any questions. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just curious. Like, is this like regular, like family? Like, you know what I'm saying? In VR, it just is raw. You know what I'm saying? Or is that just like some extra shit? It's just regular shit. <laughs> it's regular shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, uh, show man. Um, I'm I'm curious, bro. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to see a real tune TV interview. Um, nah, not for real. I seen I seen it before, but I ain't never read. You just seen a little clip. Though. Yeah, you know I seen it. I seen it before though. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, we like to take it from the top. You yeah. know what I'm saying to really give the people an opportunity to get to know who the artist is, you know what I'm saying? Not just the person who we see on stage, but the person who we don't get to see on stage. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, um, wh where are you originally from? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, South Baton Rouge. The south side of Baton Rouge, that's folds up, folds down? Folds down. Man. Okay, okay, okay. Down. I know it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get the folds down, man. Okay, overstood. Um, how, how was it growing up? on the south side of Baton Rouge? It was hard, just like everywhere else. A lot of people think that shit 
Sweet over there. That shit. Trenches for real. I know the niggas. 14 rock around with big pistols. I've never heard of anybody thinking that Baton Rouge was sweet. <laughs> you know what I'm Got big pistols down there. Lit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Why? Why do you think um, Baton Rouge was like hard for you? I end up really getting out there. My daddy came out of jail, but for my daddy came out of jail, I was regular, just like everybody else. I walked to school, ride the bus, regular do. Well, um, for for those who don't know, you are Boosie's son. Yeah. And a lot of people might feel like because of that, like you had privilege growing up, like you didn't. You yeah, know I had what I'm certain privileges sometimes. Different times I had. Sometimes I had privilege to do shit that people couldn't do. My daddy got out of jail. Shit was like different for me down there. Yeah. Daddy took me, took me and started living with my daddy. But well, before I was living with my daddy and shit, I was doing what everybody else was doing. Regular doing. Okay, so um, let, let's 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 take it there, shall we? So, um, <clears throat> you're born in Baton Rouge. You know what I mean. And originally, you raised with like your mom. Yeah, I stayed with my mom most of my life. Okay. And um, at at some point, um, I guess Boosie gets caught up on the 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 the, the free Boosie charge when there was the free Boosie movement, it was mm -hmm. like the murder charge or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Were um around how old are you around this time? I'm probably like six, eight. So you young, man. I feel like I seen a, and not to venture off, but I feel like I seen an interview where Boosie was like um he was talking about. You know, um, his kids and, and um, he was talking about Iviana and he was saying like, you know, she wasn't the street. She was kind of sheltered. But Tootie was like with me, you know what I'm saying? Even back then, you know what I'm saying? When you were young. It was on the block. When Fulton was on the block, they'll bring me to the block. Yeah. How, how was that? Like as a kid getting to experience that? I was just, I really, as a kid, I really ain't understand it. Yeah. Like as I got older, learned more about the sh start understanding the sh for real. Right, right, right. Well, um, at some point, um, Boosie goes to jail, and um, when this happens, like, what's how how are you feeling? Like, what what's your thoughts? A lot of people, I ain't know what the f to think for real, cause I ain't know. I just know. My day saying my daddy got a whole lot of murder charges and shit, so I'm just like, I don't know. I just wanted him to come home for real. Yeah. I ain't really thinking nothing of it, but I just wanted him to come home. Nothing else for real. How often did you get to see him? I probably go see my dad like. Probably like two times a month. My mom, my mom, my dad was locked up. My mom made me go see my dad. Like they made sure I went to go see him. And shit. Right. Um. W when you found out that at some point he was on death row, you know what I'm saying? Or did they tell you? Or was it like you? Was yeah, kept I from found that. Man, when I found out he was on death row, I was a little. I ain't know what the fuck that meant. I think I don't know what the fuck they trying to do to my daddy. I'm like, no, man. He I ain't know what the f to think when I heard that shit though. Yeah. How 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 were they like treating you at school? You dealing with like something serious, you know what I'm saying? And you still having to go to school, still having to be a regular, you know what I'm saying? I think that that made me worse than that for real. When I was when my daddy went to jail. Shit. Only person was when I get in trouble in school and shit, the only person really could tell me something I'm gonna listen to it probably like Ruger. Ruger's nigga it was really there for me. If I get in trouble, my mama gonna call Ruger or my T trainer. But anything else. I don't really know. Right, right, right. Um at, at, around this time, are you still like, you know, I know it's like nine of y'all, huh? Like are y'all close? Yeah, I'm close with all my brothers and sisters, most of them, for real. Talk, I have it done every day. Talk to Ty, probably once a week. Talk to Tori, 
probably like once a week. Just be checking on them right, right now, making sure they're straight. Yeah. Did y'all grow up closer? Did y'all get closer as he came home and started to get more involved? We were always close, but when my daddy came home, he made us more closer down there. Cause we start being together more often. Cause a lot of we all of us ain't got the same mama for real, so all of us don't be together. And when we be in PR, so when we go, my daddy. All us to spend time and be together for it. Right, right. Um, man, I, I, I guess how was, like, what were you hearing as a kid when he was doing his time? Like, was people like hopeful, like, man, Boosie getting out, Boosie beating this, or was it well, like, I, man? I used to be getting into it with so many people. They'd be like, your dad ain't coming home. Your daddy finna get life. And just, I got this, I got this spilled off the bus one time for slapping a girl because yes. she said my dad was never coming home. Got it spelled off the bus. Couldn't ride the bus no more. Oh, wow. What'd your people say? I was wrong. <laughs> my mom and them flash tripping. Yeah. But I, I, would, I know I was tripping, but she shouldn't have said that. She right. ain't had it to say. Right, right, right. You used to get whoopings as a kid? But my mama. Yeah. My dad probably punched me in my chest and some shit, but I ain't really. I ain't really get no whooping, like, for real. Right. When did that like stop? Like when it was like you gotta respect Tootie as who he is. Probably when I turned when I turned like seventeen. Oh. It was like I'm in the ground now. Yeah, I gotta respect this. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Uh, oh, at at some point, Boosie gets out of jail. Um, how, how old were you when this happened? My dad got out of jail, I was probably like 12. I was probably like 12. As soon as my dad got out, I wasn't, I wasn't really moving, I wasn't really living with him when he first got out. I was just probably go see him probably like every week or two or some shit. But when. Now he's still living like Louisiana yeah, when he first gets out. Yeah, he, he's still down there, so I'm still driving down. I'll drive down there and like. He was in New Orleans for real. Right. I drive down there like every week, to see him and shit when I get out of school. Then he moved in Atlanta. And then I end up moving out there when I got kicked out of school. What'd you get kicked out for? For f cursing the teacher. I, I just kept on getting trouble and that they spelled me again. Yeah. <laughs> so you get kicked out and She's like, you're coming to live with me. Nah, my mama like, yo, gotta go with your daddy. Yo, doing too much. Yeah. I was getting in trouble every week. My mom was getting sick of shit, for real. After that, she was right down there ready for me to get the fuck on, go with my daddy. Right. Um. So, I guess um the the house is built in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You go to Atlanta. It's a way different vibe than like BR. You know what I'm saying? What's the difference between BR and Atlanta? Yeah. BR, you gotta watch over your shoulder, make sure, make sure you straight. Atlanta, you gotta make sure I'm breaking your car or some. Yeah, top, but and then Atlanta, I ain't really beefing with nobody. I ain't know nobody down there for really don't want to do me some. Be all you know, knew me my whole life. Be hating for no reason. Probably want to do me something just because of who my dad is. You never know. Right, right, right. Um, so when when you come out there, like, what changes about your life? Do you start go, like going to school, or how does that work? Uh, I ended up at first. I wasn't going to school for probably about like three, or four months. And then I end up finally getting in school, and when I got in school, I just, I ain't get kicked out no more after I really went to school up there. I was really chilling, for real. Ended up getting my car and shit, driving to school. Okay, when, when did you get a car? At 16. Okay, you turned 16, you had the sweet 16 birthday party, or whatever the case may be. What kind of car did you get? A Jaguar. First car, out the gate. Jag, what do you remember the year of the Jag? I think that was like 2018. So it was brand new. 
Like that's like a what like thirty thousand dollar car. That bitch is smack branded. That bitch had like eight miles on it when I got it. Like, how did you feel? Like, you know, you coming out of Van Rouge, so you know, I'm I'm assuming based off what you said, like you're coming out of poverty to like basically, you know what I'm saying, young and turnt. You know what I'm saying? And I got that. Bitch, I felt like the main. <laughs> Real talk. When I got that, bitch, I felt like the main. That's when I really started smoking this, getting high. Yeah, really. So, so the car got you into smoking and whatnot. Now, I was already smoking before that, but that's when I really started getting high. Yeah. When I got my car, having that bitch try every morning, go get loaded. Right, 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 right. Where um, now I, I remember I seen like a video, you know what I'm saying? We were saying something about you smoking or whatever, like you weren't doing it right. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he had to show you the right way. Like, how did that relationship work? I was smoking this shit right. He was, I don't know what the fuck, he was on some other school shit. That was trying to make me hit that bitch and not let none of the smoke out in a box. I couldn't breathe in that bitch. Right, 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 right. Well, how, how is that, bro? Like, let's, my, I, I kind of moved fast, but what, what is y'all's relationship? Our relationship with my dog. We, we cool. I f with my nigga and my dog. Yeah. Um like dude, what you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of um uh, a, a lot of kids, especially black kids, they don't get the opportunity to have a father. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I mean? Um, whether it was you know what I'm saying, something happened or, you know, dad was just never around or, you know what I'm saying, dad in jail, you know what I'm saying? They'd be the typical stuff. Um, for you, like, what do you feel like um, I guess, what do you feel like the advantage is of having a dad? You know what I'm saying? If I ain't have a dad, I'd probably like be fucked up right now. I'd probably be in jail some shit yeah. if I ain't have no dad. I was going down the fucked up path. Yeah, and you recognize that? Yeah, I was going down the fucked up path. What, what do you think saved you from that path that you were going down? Move to Atlanta. Okay. If I ain't moving alone, I ain't gonna tell him what the f what the f I be doing. If my dad, if my daddy wouldn't, you know, tell him what the f I be doing. All right. All right. Um. So at 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 some point you start rapping. Yeah. When did you start rapping? Start rapping probably like 2020. You recently started rapping. You kind of talented for somebody who recently started rapping. Appreciate. <laughs> so why why did you start like you know what I'm saying? Why you just started rapping? Like you just started rapping. I really saw my dad doing this, my sister doing this. Just tried this. Yeah. Tried this. First song it dropped, I did like a million views. And I was like, I'm about to keep f with this. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess. Where do you find your inspiration from your songs? However I'm feeling that day, for real. If I'm, if I'm feeling turned that day, I go out in the studio and make some turns. If I'm feeling down that day, if I just feel like I just want to make some vibe and that just It depends on my mood, for real. Yeah. Who who do you, like, work with when you, like, making your music? Uh, I only rec I got my own engineer, Instinct. Right. Like, I don't really record with too many people because... Everybody don't like know your sound and shit. Right. So that's just who got my sound down a pack and I just like how you record and shit, so I just fuck with them. Right, right, right. You um who 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 have you gotten the opportunity to work with as far as like other artists? Um, I got to work with um Lil Papa. Okay, that's hard. That's hard. And your age. How, how how did those relationships come about? Yeah, I with Papa and Nate's like they're probably one of the two people I fuck with the most. I don't really fuck with a lot of people in the game. Yeah. Because a lot of these lad dip shit just don't fuck with them. So how'd you meet Ace? I saw Ace in the ground one day. I saw that shot up and shit. 
I just really just got into the music or some shit. I ended up just with this shit. I ended up texting a nigga one day and that nigga ended up FaceTime me. I start, we start, I start calling me like every often, making sure, checking them, making sure I was great and shit. Start calling me little brother and shit. And I just really ain't no fucking ace. I feel no fucking ace hard. I fucking popper too. Right. I popper did my feature for me. Both of them, them both did me a feature. Asked them the one time, send my shit back next day. Straight like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had the opportunity to meet Ace once uh, on some dog. You know what I'm saying? Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, on some Frenchie. You know what I'm saying? You know, get the best Frenchies from Real Tone. You know what I'm saying? He got the. He said he got the Frenchies. I got the fluffy action. You know, I just got the fluffy. You know what I'm saying? I gotta check you out, man. I need me a puppy. Hey, he's in the right building. You hear me? Yeah, we the straight design of dogs, now. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, I need me a dog and make famous, man. I need me that. We gotta make that thing. No, sure. We can. We can do that. We can do that. Um. So at at some point while you're, um, in Atlanta, you meet, um, King, yeah. Tia. I f with the King. Oh, okay. How how did that relationship come about? I really been so high. I did not forget. Real tough. Me and King just in the. Getting cool as a motherfucker. Like, for some reason, I just with him come, like, like my brother. Like, I like my little brother. Like, I look at him like, just like I look at Ray right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, like, why? What, what gravitated you towards him? You know what I'm saying? Y'all obviously, from my perspective, I haven't met him, so I don't really just know him like that. But so a lot of niggas don't really know him for real. A lot of niggas just know him for like TV show and shit, but. I ain't mean, really hot, dude. dude. Cool people. Dude kind of got some weight like me, for real. Kind of act like me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I seen him going wild, like at the Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I seen him trip. <laughs> yeah, I seen him trip. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you see stuff like that, how you be feeling? You know what I'm saying? Because you from a different trenches. You know what I'm saying? Like, Baton Rouge, I've been out there. I've been to BR. Yeah. And it's different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it is, it's <laughs> not for real, because it's a real hood. Like it's like, like not in a bad way, but not in a good way either. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a real like small town hood. Like it's like going to Mobile or something like that. Like you, you know you in the trenches. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know it's all good, but you know where you at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you see certain things, like I'm sure you accustomed to when you are where you from, of uh, moving a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So when it's out there, it's like, I don't know, y'all just seem like, just more free, you know what I'm saying? To do what you want to do. Yeah, out there, I fuck with, I fuck with it out there. I be with it. Go to the studio, do the same shit over at dinner every day. I be on some cool shit out there. Right, right, right. Um, well, I seen at some point you and King was going back and forth on the ground, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was serious. Or if it was just, you know, I was doing it for the gram, you know nah, what I'm saying? we were just, uh, I don't know what the f*** we were doing. We were probably just playing on some sh for real. Type shit, type shit, type shit. Well, um, <clears throat> somehow, some way, y'all garnered the attention of Charleston White. Yeah. <laughs> Charleston White. <laughs> Man, um, like what? <laughs> like, like. You know, I'm from Texas, so I, we done had to deal with Charleston. You know what I'm saying? Like, before y'all, before he got to go with that y'all and everybody yeah. else, it like, we was dealing with that shit. And so it's like, when, when you caught wind of Charleston, <laughs> like, how did you feel? You know what I'm saying? You got this old caught a going hard, too. Like, I really ain't understand it, because, like, trying to figure out, like, why this old even worry about me even talking about me cause like I don't even know you my nigga. like why are you even old as f thinking about me I shouldn't even be on your brain my nigga. like real shit. I don't think about that nigga. why are you thinking about me bro <laughs> I don't mean to laugh it was just like I, I saw a video where he was like uh well we was cool until Tootie threatened me. I never threatened him. I never threatened him. I know. I'm smart. 
I know not to threaten no n- like him because he don't play the people. I never threaten him. I don't want to throw him nothing. I'm straight on him. Yeah. Um, when you see, like, Boosie just doesn't respond to him at all. Like, what, what does he tell you when it comes to people like Charleston? He the police. He the police. They say, what the f-? Stay out of his way. Stay out of his way. You seen I went to jail in Austin, Texas. Okay, well, I wanted to get there. I wanted to get yeah, there. Tough. So he do it long. He's straight. <laughs> and he was claiming Man, that. I don't want to talk about him no more, bro. Yeah, I'm straight out here. My bad. Real my bad. That the police. <clears throat> up. But um, we, we was at South by Southwest. I hosted uh, probably the live show on South on Sixth Street. We been in this bitch since uh, goddamn me three o'clock when I laid down on the red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of celebrities in this. You know, but I'm good. But we right here. I really know that I done mess since I done been in this rap. You know what I'm saying? Casual EMT in the building. Man. Now before we before we continue, I, I bring you a brief intermission from the kid that did. The KID to DID. Hey man, this might be the South Wind Winning birthday, man, so You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was out there. Yeah. Uh, uh, some a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um how how was that experience for you? You know what I'm saying? Was that your first time at South by? Yeah, but I'm never going back to South by Southwest. What's wrong with South by Southwest? I ain't like how them got me. Them got me weird. I ain't like that shit. I feel like I was in a target or something. So why, why you say that? Like, what happened? Can you walk us through? <laughs> I jumped in the car, literally. I, I was in the car for one minute before that bitch got pulled over. On my life, we ain't go nowhere. Unmarked cars pull us over some more. So it's like, I don't really, no, I think them been watching us the whole day for real though, so. Yeah, um, why were you the one singled out? I wasn't just the one singled out, it was like, four of us went to jail. Oh, it was the whole kind of team? Yeah. Yeah, um, with you as like the face, you know, or, you know, I don't know the inner dealings of your circle, but. Um, you know, the way I see it from my perspective as an artist, you know what I'm saying? The artist is typically the face, you know what I'm saying? Like, did nobody, like, just try to take your charge? Or you was trying to be a real... Nah, you know? nah, my little brother tried to take the charge with it, like... You weren't going for it, for real, that was on some... That was on some... Well, you, you, you already gone, come on. It's over with. Right. Texas laws. You, um... So... Was that whole situation ever resolved? Yeah, I just got the case through up though. Okay, 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 okay. How stressful was that, like having to go to jail, you know what I'm saying? In Austin, out of all places. Man, you don't want to go to jail nowhere, bro. That shit for dogs, bro. Like, that shit, like, I don't know, it's jail on nobody. That shit is for dogs, bro. Yeah, was, was that your first time in jail? Wow, in Texas. You know what I'm saying? I hate that for you, you know what I'm saying? On behalf of the great state of Texas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, don't, uh, we, don't, we don't all get down like that. You know what I'm saying? No, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> um, well, um, how do I say this? I, I, I saw you and Lil Ivy had the opportunity to make up. You know what I'm saying? Um, if 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 you don't mind, like what 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 was y'all's relationship coming up? Did you know him coming up out of Baton Rouge? I know him. I know him as a little. He's like he used to be like my little brother, for real. Yeah. How how did y'all build a relationship? We just ended up building a relationship for real. I don't even remember. My dad he just come around a lot. We end up getting cool. Right. Right. Um, at, at some point, both of you guys kind of took it to the internet and, well, I wouldn't even just say the internet, but to the music, you know what I'm saying? And made some diss songs. Um, I guess what happened and how were y'all able to come together and rectify the situation? Uh, he was really talking about my dad at first. I just I ain't like the shit he was saying at first. I ain't like the 
they were saying, and I think I ended up saying some sh Then he ended up making a song about me, and we ended up getting to it and some more sh But end up, my dad ended up, we ended up starting to talking to him. We squashed it. Yeah. Um. Well, I seen. You know, Baton Rouge is so crazy because you got this small place, but you got a lot of big names, you know what I'm saying, that come out of that city, you know what I'm saying, from the um, the Boosies, the Kevin Gates, and the list goes on to even the New Waves, the Tex, the Fredos, the Young Boys, the list goes on. I seen uh, Fredo on the disc, and... What got me was I, I remember watching an interview and Fredo was like, you know, Boosie my cousin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so is that your big cousin? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know if that's my cousin, bro. I ain't never seen him at no family reunion or nothing. <laughs> like, so I don't know if that's my cousin. It might be my cousin. I don't know. I ain't never seen him at no family reunion, you know. Yeah. You know, they say, they say, um, Everybody in BR related in some kind of way. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> we ain't not related. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> man. Um. You know, I, I, um, I, I interviewed. Um, my, my bad. You know, like, <laughs> I guess, uh, being Boosie's son has to be tough because it's like, you know, it might be one thing for people back home to feel some type of way, but. Everybody has an opinion about his opinion because he has a strong opinion. Um, like, you know, Dwayne Wade's son and all the other stuff that goes on, which I'm not saying I don't disagree with his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because he be speaking <laughs> some real stuff a lot of times. But, like, when it comes to you, like, do you feel like it'd be like you have to stand on that? You know what I'm saying? Like, he done said something, you know, I'm standing on it, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo. or is it like, man, he gonna do what he gonna do? Man, I don't say what he gonna say, bro. Like, I can't tell him not to say some shit. If he say that shit, he gonna say it. And that's just what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. We're still ragging with him either way, but if he said it, it's fuck it. Right, right, right. Um, I saw um that there was a point to where, I don't know if y'all was doing a reality show or what it was, but it was like, you know, he had got you a stripper. You know what I'm saying? And he got a lot of backlash for it. Like, man, you got your son. You know what I'm saying? Like, people not won't go with it. How do you feel about when you see little shit like that? Yeah, I feel like, why wouldn't you want your son? Why wouldn't you want your son? Right. Would you want your son? You know what I'm saying? I'd rather it be me to introduce him than somebody else. Real talk. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, th how do you feel, though, as the son? Like, do you feel like, man, I liked my dad I liked that shit. Right. I wanted it. <laughs> Real talk. Well, it's like, you're not funny, fool. But it's like, <laughs> you're keeping it too real. You real know what I'm saying? Um, I had the... I, I had the opportunity to uh, interview uh, Poison Ivy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Poison um, Ivy, that my sister, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Firstborn. Big sister. Yep. A lot of people think you the oldest for some reason. No, I ain't the oldest. I got two sisters older than me. Yeah. Um, well, in, in my interview with um, Poison, she had talked about um, coming out. We get started. I just want to get rid of the elephant out of the room. Um, I seen you went viral, uh, not just for rap economics, but you had posted, or, or however it surfaced, you know what I'm saying, you and another female, yeah. you know what I'm saying, was in the picture mm -hmm. together, you know what I'm saying, and y'all was looking, you know what I'm saying, a little. <laughs> He's dead you know what about saying? what I'm saying. <laughs> man, <laughs> no, just get to the point. Me. But, man, uh, just get to the point, man. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, so, so. You got a new boo, you know what I'm saying? How how did you feel when that hit the internet and the reaction? See, that's new to y'all. It ain't new to me. So it's not a new boo because I've been with it. Right. So it's so that's new to y'all. But it ain't even really like it's new to y'all because y'all knew that Y'all just, you know, once I really emphasize on it. Right. 
then it's like, booyah. But it's like, the main point is, I feel like, if I wasn't Boosie's daughter, it wouldn't matter. Right. Like, y'all wouldn't care if I like a girl or a boy. Right. That's the only reason y'all care. Like, if my daddy was like, some regular y'all wouldn't care what I like. Right. So I'm like, what the f And it's like, I mean, like I went through all my phases with this like having to think what people going to say or worry about. Or when I say I am so comfortable with myself, like it ain't nothing they can say to make me feel like I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or like, and at the end of the day, I'm grown. Mm. You know, like half of them think I'm like a child. Like I'm not like 14. Like I am 21 years old. I'm smart enough, you know to know this is where I want to go, or this is what I want to have in my life, or this is how I want to move, or this is what I want to do. Yeah. Like, it ain't... If you don't mind me asking, when did you know that that was the way you wanted to go? See, now you try to get to... <laughs> <laughs> right, you look. know what I'm saying? Um, I talked to my first girl at 16 years old. Okay. Um, what was it about her? She was just cute? She was like... I'm not speaking of her. Oh, okay, okay. Overstood, overstood. Um, overstood. But, yeah, I talked to my first girl at 16. Uh, I came out to my mama at, like, 18. Oh, okay. Um, it was the fact once I was standing on, once you grown, can't nobody tell you. Right, right, right. So, and I'm so respectful with my parents, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And, like, I respect both of my parents, but it was like, I think I was worried about my mom the most. It was like anything I was worried about my mom the most. So that's why I always emphasize on that. If she support me with this and if she got me the main person I was worried about not having my back with it, if she, you know, all right with it, then I'll be, I'll be straight. Like, I'll be cool then. No, I don't sure. worry about them people. Well, when did you come out to your dad? Or did you? I ain't, me and daddy never had no conversation about this. Shit. Like, we ain't never had, I'm not, we ain't never had no conversation. We'd had like words with it, but it ain't no, you know, that's right. family business. Right, right. It ain't, right. you know what I'm saying? We ain't never have no sit down like, let me, why you, why you move like this? Or why you, why you like girls? Right. We ain't never had no conversation like that. And I feel like, it ain't needed right, because right, right. he gonna feel how he feel and I'ma feel how I feel. He gonna do what he do and I'ma do what I do. At the end of the day. And at the end, at the end of the day, I'm gonna love him. Right. He my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Right. He ain't. He ain't no. He not gonna agree with everything I do. Cause I don't agree with everything he do. Right. 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 He ain't gonna agree with everything I say. Cause I don't agree with everything he say. Right. 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 But that's just. You know. That's just life. That's just. Yeah, and, and no, I think, but we ain't against each other. How to, right. you know, they be trying to make this shit like, Boosie don't like gay people, so why his daughter gay and who do? Man, we not like, like he hate me or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit ain't, that shit ain't like how people make this. Shit. You know what I'm saying with a girl or whatever the case may be. You know when it hit the internet, it was like crazy. The internet went in an uproar about it. You know what I'm saying? When you seen it, you know what I'm saying, it's, little bro. How did you feel? Did she steal my sister? I didn't give a f I don't give a f <laughs> Steal my sister at the end of the day, shit, I don't. That's what, whatever you like, you like, I'm with you. That's my sister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a relationship with Don't? My Trail? Right. Yeah, I talk to Trail like every once in a while. Like. Yeah. Um. You know, she brought up Donk too. And. She's like, Donk is like the person you can call, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm to get positive reinforcement. Yeah, but like when I'm down and shit, I taste like a Donk. Say a prayer for me or some shit. Right. Making sure I'm straight. Right. Is, is it like inspiring, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to my understanding, Donk had like a serious murder case, you know what I'm saying? And went from that to doing what he's doing now in the church. And not even just that, but just like the moves he makes. You know what I'm saying? Or you just be like, you know, that's just my uncle. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I know. I know you got a story behind it. I think, but I still, that's my uncle though. Still, I think that's the thing. Still let him know. 
But I know that got a real story. I know them we have real stories and shit. Yeah. A a anybody in particular that you looking to work with? Uh, I want to work with. Let me see. Mm. I want to work with uh, Latika. Mm. YTB Fat. Nobody else I want to work with for real. Well, so I know there's more people I just probably can't think of right now. Right, 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 right. It is late, you know what I'm saying? We still great, though. You hear me? Um, anything that I didn't ask that you think the fans should know or want to know? Mm, no, nah, not for real. Shit, sure, sure. Man, um, I didn't ask you this, but I did want to ask you this. Where did you get the name Tootie Raw from? <laughs> They, they just always call me, just call me Tudor when I was little, for real. Got that name from Uncle Donkey. Uncle Donkey gave me that name. And I just start being fly, and they just, I just start putting that shit on, get the freshest of me. They start calling me Tudor raw, real. Yeah. Oh, girl, raw meant like you raw? Yeah. Like, a lot of people be on some stupid shit, but that mean like I'm raw, like, yeah, thing I do raw. Yeah, um, you know, Sexy Rare was calling herself the Raw Dog Queen. Nah, not that way. Not like, not yeah. that way. Sexy Rare freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> she freaked out. Did you see her state? I saw it. What you thought? She was straight. It was right. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. A, she was straight. She did a little shit. But, but she, Hey, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, that thing is crazy. Nah, shit, show though, man. Tootie Raw, man, right here on Real Tone TV exclusive, man. For sure. Hey, Real Tone, it's some real money in the room. <laughs>